I'm going to go over the concept of templates and what they're all about in a little bit more detail. So a template is, think of a template as just simply a proposal that you can easily reuse. It's uh, a, a collection of sections and kind of a style um, and some, some you know, different text elements that you can basically duplicate and reuse as a proposal. <clears throat> so we have a, a series of, uh, a whole gallery of templates here in the gallery. Um, and so you can choose one that uh, fits your needs, the content, the design, the styling. You can change the content, you can change the styling, but it's just kind of a starting point. So <clears throat> you'll see I've already imported a few templates into my account. I've set my, uh, this architecture one as the default template. So that you can change the default simply by clicking on the little bookmark icon and that will change it. Now, the whole idea of a default template simply means if I create a new proposal, it will automatically use that uh, template unless I choose otherwise. And same thing if I go into the content library and I add a new section, it's going to um, use the styling from that template. <clears throat> so if I go here and uh, edit this template, you'll see it looks basically just like a proposal, like I'm in the proposal editor. Um, of course, there's no settings or client for it. There's no snapshot or metrics. I can't send this. This is just a template. It's just something I reuse. So I can go and just you know, create whatever my base template is and then generate proposals from it. So I can generate a proposal in one of two ways. I can go into the template directly and click generate proposal and it will uh, take me to the proposal settings screen where I choose the name, the due date, and the client. <clears throat> um, the other way to do it is directly from the dashboard or the pipeline, I can click new proposal, I can choose which template I want, or I can import a new one from the gallery, or I can just create a completely blank starting, you know, a clean canvas kind of proposal. So I'm going to choose one that I've already kind of, um, I already have a template for it. So I'm going to click use this, and all it does is simply generates a new proposal from that template. It copies the sections, creates new versions of them, so I can safely edit now this proposal without having to worry about uh, you know, updating any sections that are in the library. I go over that in another video. Um, now there's one, uh, it's pretty simple, but there's one thing to kind of show you, which is, let's say that I go ahead and I create this new proposal and I change a whole bunch of things and I maybe add some team members and I customize the pricing and I put in all my own uh, images into this proposal. And so this is exactly what I want now for all my proposals going forward. How do I get this back as a template? How do I turn this proposal now that I've customized into a template? Well, it's really easy. All I go up here, it, all I do is I go up here to the save button and I click on the arrow and there's an option to save it as a template. I can call it architecture two, save, And I think that's a bug. And let's see what happens. Ah, okay. So I go architecture two uh, is now saved to back to my template um, gallery. So it's really easy to save back a proposal as a template. And I'll have to record that bug.